You are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wedgie, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. Wong, we are going to be traveling around the world aboard the Safari Express. <laughs> and along the way, we're going to visit exotic places, learn about interesting different animals, and read really lovely stories from the Bible that we call parables. I will be your host aboard the Safari Express. <laughs> Can we all say that together? Let's say Ranger Wedgie. No, not Ranger Wedgie. You said Ranger Wedgie. It's Ranger Wedgie. Let's try it again. Ranger Wedgie. No, you're still saying Ranger Wedgie. It's Ranger Wedgie. Let's try it again. Ranger Wedgie. Okay, we'll keep practicing. <laughs> well, today we are making a special stop in a beautiful state of Wyoming. There's Wyoming on the map. See how far away from Florida it is? It's over 2,000 miles away. And Wyoming is a lovely land. In fact, it's just loaded with beautiful creatures. And every week on Board Quitter Kingdom, we are going to be studying a new and interesting creature. We call it our Creature Feature! Hit the tunes! Quit the feature! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to. Now, we have a special friend who wants to come out and help us find our quitter of the day. His name is Handsome. Come on out, Handsome! Woo! Say hello to the kids. <laughs> kids, say hi to Handsome. I call him handsome because he handsome stuff to us. Now, handsome, do you have any uh, clues about today's animal? You do? Okay, what's your clue? Oh, it's a paper airplane. <gasps> today's animal is coming by airmail. What do you think it is? Anybody? A bird? Is it a bird? What have you got back there? Oh, thank you, handsome. He's beautiful. This is not just any bird. This is a falcon. Ooh, isn't he a beauty? Yeah, his name is Perry. He's Perry the Peregrine Falcon. Yeah, now falcons are very special birds because they can see for miles and miles. They have beautiful eyesight. In fact, back in medieval times, they were used for hunting and finding lost things. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I think I know why Handsome chose Perry the Peregrine Falcon. Because today's story is... Oh, oh, there's beautiful pictures of him up there too. Look at that, Perry. It looks like you. Yeah, today's story is the parable of the lost sheep. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, I'm not lost. I live around here. Oh, my, come on over here. Come on aboard. Hello, you look like a sheep. That's because I am a sheep. The name is Fluffy. Whoa, whoa, Fluffy. Hey, these are the kids. Say oh. hi to Fluffy. Well, hello, hello. <laughs> and I'm Ranger Reggie. Ranger Reggie, the yeah. animal expert. Well, yeah. you're just the guy I needed to talk to. I am very upset. I was reading this story that Jesus said in the book of Luke. Oh, I didn't even know sheep could read the Bible. Oh, yeah. We graze. Oh, well, why don't I get out the Bible and we'll share it together? Uh, I, don't know what the... I love this song. <laughs> oh, why? What are you doing, eh? Here we are. Today's Bible story is the parable of the washed sheep. Uh -huh. Oh, this is one of the parables that Jesus told to his followers. Yeah, but read what it says. Let's read it together. 
Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. All right, stop right there. Did you see that? But He's supposed to be taking care of his sheep and he loses one. Oh, now hold on, Fluffy. It gets better. Let me read this. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? He just like 99 sheep unattended. Now that's just bad parenting. Now, now, now calm down, Fluffy. It's not a real shepherd. Uh -huh. It's a parable. A parable? So you're saying that he left the parables and 99 sheep just sitting out there? I'm calling Peter. No, no, not a parable. A parable. A parable was a story. Jesus used parables all the time to teach us what the kingdom of God is like. That's what the kingdom of God is like, abandoned and poor, defenseless sheep. Oh, Fluffy, now come on, you're getting all worked up over nothing. Hey. I haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Listen right. to this. And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me! I have found my lost sheep. Huh. Rejoice, huh? Wow, I never noticed that part. So you're saying that the shepherd was celebrating? Absolutely! Celebrating over one sheep, but, uh, but why? Well, well, don't you see, Fluffy? This story is just an example that Jesus used to help us so that we could understand that in his kingdom, Every one oh. of us is very important. Oh. I mean, can you imagine how you would feel if you were that one more sheep? Well, I suppose uh, if I wandered off, I would be pretty excited if my shepherd came and, <laughs> and he brought me back to my flock nice and safe. Well, see, and we are all like that sheep. Sometimes we wander away from God, but Jesus is like the shepherd. Huh. He works for us with Sharp eyes like a falcon. Huh. And when he finds us, he brings us back to God so that we can be close to him. That is beautiful. So he actually looks for us? So of course. The Bible says there is more rejoicing in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and comes back to God than over 99 who never had to repent in the first place. Repent, repent. What is a repent? Oh, well, repent. That's when we stop doing the things we shouldn't do, the things we know that are wrong in God. God's eyes, we call those sins. Oh. And we turn away from those, and we choose to love God with all our hearts. Oh, so I see. So Jesus is the shepherd, yeah. and he helps us love God with all our heart. Oh, I, I got to read that again so I can learn to love God with all my heart. Well, that's a great idea, Fluffy. You can borrow my Bible. Oh, thank you. Oh, we'll be back later. See you later. So long, dudes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fluffy. Uh, Wasn't he wobbly? He's a very nice sheep. Now, Fluffy is going to read the Bible again and learn how to love God with all of his heart. And that is part of what we're going to be doing this summer. We're going to be wanting to love God with all of our heart. In fact, it's right there in our campus code. Yeah, and you all have to learn the campus code because that's how you become good wangers. Now, I'm going to make you all official wangers. So everybody stand to your feet, raise your white hand, and let's all say our campus code together. I'll say it first. You repeat after me. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a white wherever I go. Excellent. Now stay on your feet. That's uh, just about all the time we have for Quitted Kingdom. But I want to thank our special guest, Perry, the Peregrine Falcon. Yes. And I thought maybe we could invite Fluffy back out and Mr. Brian to come on up and lead us in our camp quit a song. Fluffy, do you want to come back out and join us? I mean, if they'll have me. Oh, yeah, come on out. There awesome. you go. And you oh. know what? I need, I need a volunteer to help me out. I need someone to help me out. Do you want to help me out? All right, first... I need to make you one of our explorers so you can put this hat on. And let's raise the flag, the falcon flag. So help me out. So pull this way. Raise it all the way up. Oh, look at that. Raise oh, it, raise it. Job. Very nice, very Excellent. nice. Awesome. And then why don't you join me on stage here? I'll come up. There you go. All right. And I have a really important question to ask. What does the fox say? <laughs> Mr. I know, but but I want to know what a falcon says. Oh, that's true. Not yeah. not what a fox says. So, what do you what do you think a falcon? What kind of what noise? Do you think the what would the falcon says? say? Ka ka. Oh, exactly. Sorry, I try that. Ka ka. Oh, 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to do our camp song together. But first, we need to get on the train. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make like a train and go like this. All right, let's learn our camp song together. Our spider falcon flying by. Jumped on the train, let out a cry. God sent his son to save each one. All aboard, we've just begun. The falcon is here to lead the way. Let's go to Camp Venture today. Before, when you were singing the Camp Venture song, mm -hmm. these kids were able to sing a lot faster than that. I think they can sing that song faster. You guys think so? Yeah, I think they can. I don't know. Can, can we speed up the train nice. a little bit? Let's, yeah, let's All right, here we go. I spied a falcon flying by. Jumped on the train, let out a cry. That's about as fast as they can go. I think so. No! No! They, no! No! It's too fast. Faster than that? Okay. All so? right, let's give it a try. One more time. I fought a falcon flying by. Jumped on the train, let out a cry. Go, go, go! Got sent his son to save each one. All of our we just begun. The falcon is here to lead the way. Go, go, go! Let's go to Camp Venture today. Woo! Woo! Oh, that was excellent. Awesome. Give yourself a hand. Oh,